Okay, I was thinking about my physical correct sun and thought it would be interesting to compare it to the internal blender sun light source and see how it compares. Uh, I actually did some tests just now and I found some interesting stuff. Either I did something wrong or blender is doing something wrong, but kind of had to do it this way. But let me show you what I'm talking about. So first I'm gonna delete um, the, uh, the earth. We're gonna head over to this queue, uh, render it, and you see our sun is very, very bright. On our sun object, I'm gonna move it on Z and on Y. So um, it's just like, yeah, up there in the corner. I'm gonna create a plane. So basically we got a basic setup here. Now I'm gonna reduce exposure to minus 20 so I can move it a little bit. I'm gonna go into a slight gray so it's not overexposed. And you already see it's behaving very, very strangely. We have zero GI, zero. So if I put the cube here, like this should really reflect some light and it just doesn't. But we do have an area shadow. We do have blur in the shadow, uh, shadow because the sun has a certain size. Okay, next I'm gonna create a sun light source, just here, uh, just here, um, 45, 90, and yeah, like this, so 135. Um, now you see the sun is way too dark, on 10 it's way too dark, and now weird thing, on 100,000 it's not any brightness, it's actually exactly, or pretty much exactly, I don't know what's going on with the shading here. I think I can't match this. Or maybe I can just match the angle. Yeah, let me match this by eye now, okay. So now, yeah, it looks exactly the same on exactly 100,000, what a coincidence. And now I'm questioning, is the blender sun uh, wrong on a factor of 100,000 for weird reasons because GI and stuff just suddenly doesn't work on this brightness, I don't know, or was my sun brightness wrong thanks to gigawatts and all this kind of stuff? Because now look at this, divided by 100,000, yeah, like this, it's um, dark, it's black. Now I go back exposure, zero, it actually looks pretty normal. And look at this sunlight, oh, that's too bright now, let's bring this back to one. They look the same, exactly the same. So I guess, I don't know, probably my number was wrong with Yada and Giga and stuff like this because now it's exactly the same. And look, we got a nice area shadow and look, we basically created a physical correct sun, like a real sun, like it has actual size. So if I go there and zoom out, I think it should be somewhere here. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming, there it is. So it's very far away and it's very, very big and results in exactly the same as the blender sunlight, which is pretty interesting. Just as I said, for some reason, wrong by a factor of 100,000. I'm not sure if that mistake was done by me or by blender, probably by me, but I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. Maybe I would have to check the number again, but either way, um, yeah. That's it for today. I don't even know why I made this video. I just thought it was interesting. I thought I'd just upload it. No one has to watch it if you want to watch it. Watch it if you watch it up until here. I guess you're just as insane as me. So goodbye and see you next video.